What is the Internet? The term Internet is derived from interconnected network. The Internet is a system where many networks are linked together. The Internet is a globally interconnected network system that enables devices to connect and share data worldwide. What is the name of the person who uses the Internet? Netizen is the word to describe people who use the Internet. The word netizen is a combination of Internet and citizen. The term netizen describes those who participate actively in the online community, much like an Internet citizen. The terms Internet users and netizens are commonly used to describe people who use the Internet. Why is the Internet required? Email, messaging apps, and social media enable immediate global communication. Online shopping allows consumers to buy and sell goods and services easily. Online shopping simplifies buying and selling goods and services. The Internet connects people and businesses worldwide. Search engines and online resources provide information on various topics. The Internet can be used for research and data gathering. Online courses and educational resources enable learning from anywhere. The Internet facilitates technological advancements. The Internet offers diverse entertainment options. Social networking platforms help us to connect with others. The Internet provides real-time news and updates on global events. The Internet provides access to news and updates. Online banking and online payment services provide convenient access to manage finances, pay bills, and access banking services conveniently. The Internet simplifies shopping and banking services. Who is known as the father of the Internet? Vinton Cerf and Robert Kahn are known as the fathers of the Internet for their development of the TCP TIP Protocol Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, and Internet Protocol, IP. TCP IP protocol forms the foundation for how data is transmitted across the Internet today, often referred to as TCP IP. How was the Internet invented? In the 1950s, the Cold War reached its peak and problems grew between the Soviet Union and North America. The United States understood that it needed a communication system that could not be affected by the nuclear attack. USA scientists and military professionals were worried because the entire network of lines and wires that enabled long-distance communication could be destroyed by a single missile. At this time, computers were large and expensive machines that were used by military scientists and university staff. ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, was developed by the U.S. Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency. ARPANET was funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, for the project to connect computers. On the 29th of October, 1969, the first attempt to connect computers was made. ARPANET tried to send a message from one computer at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, to another computer at Stanford University. They intended to send the word login, but the system crashed, and only two letters, L-O, were sent. Later, two scientists, Vinton Cerf and Robert Kahn, invented a system called tcp IP, Transmission Control Protocol, the Internet Protocol, that allowed computers to communicate over long distances. On January 1, 1983, 
ARPANET adopted TCP EIP, and the modern internet as we know it was born. 1st of January, 1983, is considered the official birthday of the internet. How has the internet evolved? The 1st of January, 1983, the internet officially started. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented WWW. The world became the first ISP in 1989. The first internet service provider, ISP, called the world started in 1989. The world was the first company to provide internet access to the general public. In 1990, Archie was considered the world's first web search engine, which was invented by Alan Emtage. Dot-com bubble The internet became widely popular after 1995, and the number of internet users grew rapidly. More and more people started using the internet, which led to its expansion into an essential global infrastructure. With the rapid growth of the internet, investors believed that dot-com companies would dominate the future economy. As a result, investors rushed to buy shares of the internet companies. People invested heavily in dot-com companies, causing the prices of their stocks to rise excessively, making them much more expensive than they were really worth. This led to an overvaluation of dot-com company stocks. Between 2000 and 2001, the dot-com bubble burst, meaning stock prices crashed. From 2001 to 2002, the prices kept falling, and many internet companies went out of business. Over the following years, many overvalued companies went bankrupt, and the stock market lost trillions of dollars in value. The effects of the burst were felt for several years. The burst of the dot-com bubble is considered one of the major stock market crashes of the 21st century. The internet provided the infrastructure and tools that allowed social media to flourish, transforming how we communicate and connect. The rise of smartphones and mobile devices made the internet accessible anytime, anywhere in the world. Today, we have new technologies like cloud computing, the Internet of Things, IoT, and artificial intelligence, which make it easier to share and find information. The new e-technology is also making the internet faster and better. The commercialization of the internet turned the internet into a major marketplace, changing how we shop and communicate. Overall, the internet has significantly impacted society, economy, and culture, continuously evolving and influencing our daily lives. What is WWW? The World Wide Web, WWW is a collection of websites and web pages that you can visit using the internet. The World Wide Web, WWW, lets you view information, pictures, videos, and more by clicking links. The World Wide Web, WWW, revolutionized the internet by enabling the creation of websites and hyperlinks. The World Wide Web, WWW, was invented by Tim Berners-Lee at the CERN Physics Laboratory in Switzerland. The World Wide Web, WWW, was designed to enable easy sharing of information. The first website was launched in 1991, and the WWW quickly grew as the Internet expanded. What is the difference between Internet and World Wide Web, WWW? The Internet is a system where many networks are linked together. 
The Internet is the infrastructure that enables various services to function. While the World Wide Web, WWW, is a system of websites and web pages which can be accessed through browsers over the Internet. The World Wide Web, WWW, is one of the service of the Internet. The Internet is a network of computers connected to each other. The World Wide Web is what we use to browse and access information on the Internet, like websites and pages. So, the Internet is the connection, and the World Wide Web is what you see and use online. If you find this video useful, if you find this video informative, hit the like button. Your likes are very precious. Your likes are very valuable. Like this video. Let us know. What do you access the internet for? I access the internet for dash. Let us know in the comment section.